Hey there rioters and welcome back to the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil Remake HD. Uh, before we get going and return to the mansion, we just need to get rid of these magnum rounds. We no longer need those and we'll replace it with the with the grenade launcher and the acid shells because we are going to need those uh, a little bit later when we take on the snake, which we do. We finally get to kill that big old mean snake. But for now, we are heading back to the mansion. Let's do this. Uh, but before we leave, we're going to take one of these uh, blue herbs. Because we may need it. There is a chance we may get bitten by a snake on the way back. Because there are... There is like one or two um, instances where a snake is kind of scripted to bite you. And... Um, oops, cutscene. This is Jill. Does anybody hear me? I hear you, Brad. Over. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. Doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Brad. Brad? Brad. This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Brad. Brad! Shit, it's broken. As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted there, Jill, uh, there is like one or two snakes that are kind of scripted to jump out at you and attack you. And there are, I know there are gamers out there who are masters at this, and they can avoid it pretty damn easily, easily. like they don't get bitten, but... Oh, look at this. A doggy. Oh, you missed out on a snack because you were a sleepyhead. I ran right by you. Uh, but I'm not good enough to get around these snakes. I mean, so there's a high chance I'm probably going to get bitten. And there's a chance they poison you. Here we go. Where is it? It's here somewhere. That one over there to the light. Oh, damn it. There must be like three snakes that can bite you. So I got poisoned, but there we go. So there we go. That's another time I've been hit. So what's that like? two or three times I've taken damage. Definitely not a no damage run. <laughs> if it wasn't before, it definitely isn't now. Oh well. This isn't any kind of challenge or specialty run. I'm not aiming for no damage or, you know, record time or anything like that. Just, just you know, a simple kind of everyday kind of everyman playthrough who just so happens to collect all the files. And all the weapons and maps. That's really it. But look at this! Barry has left us some more goodies. Will you take the battery pack? Yes. He's such a gentleman. you got to love Barry. Will you take the first aid spray? Yes. And look at this. He even left us some goddamn grenade rounds. We take grenade shells. Yes. And we can read his little note. Use this thing to protect yourself from that bulletproof thing in chains. I went ahead and fixed that piece of crap door too. Barry. Okay, so Barry fixed the uh, the door that where the handle can bust off if you use it too many times. We didn't end up breaking it, but Barry's fixed it anyway. Um, Barry certainly has a way with words too. Use this thing to defeat that thing. Oh! And after entering this door, we are about to meet a new enemy. The Hunters! The goddamn Hunters! You can use your grenade launcher. It's probably recommended that you do use your grenade launcher to deal with this thing. But uh, we're going to go ahead and just use the shotgun. Because we're tough. Here we go. Get ready. Turn around and... Woo! Come on. Please be dead. Ah! Okay, three shotgun shells took it down. There's going to be two more in here. Um, the best time to attack them is when they're leaping towards you. Um, sometimes don't just attack them while they're standing, because they can... Oh! Don't attack them while they're just getting up. Uh, he only took two. The other one jumps down. Here we go. Die, asshole. Ah, awesome. So those hunters only took two shotgun shells. The first one took three. 
Uh, don't shoot them as they're getting up, because sometimes they just kind of brush it off in the animation, and they just keep coming at you. Anyway, let's see what, uh, let's drop off stuff that we don't need. So we definitely don't need the first aid spray, so we can, uh, drop that off. And we don't need the, we don't need the grenade shells, we'll get rid of those two. We need the acid shells for the snake. Uh, which is coming up in a few minutes, but yeah, that's it. That's all we need. That's all we needed to drop off. We're good. Let's continue. We're going to go upstairs, and we're going back to uh, that room that had the fireplace where we got the map, where you burn the map off into the wood, that really strange kind of thing. We're going back there because now we have the key to um, unlock the room that was beside it, the door that's in there, so let's go there. And at this moment in time, we're actually halfway through the game, which is hard to believe, but there you go. Use the mansion key. Yeah, the uh, the majority of the game really takes place during the first section in the mansion, when we're in here at the beginning, and after that it just kind of flies by. Ah, uh, here we go, uh, this part. We need to push this thing. So we have to be quick after uh, pushing this all the way to the end when the walls close. We have to quickly press a switch and run back. Don't worry, the walls aren't going to crush us, as it may look. They stop because they can't crush the uh, the statue. See? We're safe. So when we push this to the end, we now have to turn around. Run around here. And we're going to press a switch. There's a switch here, press it, yes. And we have to be really quick here. Don't waste time, because this thing doesn't. So quickly run here and push as fast as we can. Easy. We nailed it. Absolutely nailed it like a boss. So a secret passage opens up, and over here we get another dagger, which always comes in handy. I'm thankful for more daggers. There's a hole at your feet. You can't see very far into it, though. Go down? Yes. Okay, James Sunderland. And what goodies await for us down here? Let's check this out. A book! Will you take the last book, Volume 1? We absolutely will. Now we have to examine this to get a medal inside. What can the words on the cover mean? Eagle of South, Wolf of North. No idea what that means, but let's open it up. And we get a medal! A medal was hidden, hidden inside the book. Medal of Eagle. Found inside the last book, Volume 1. Is there a special way to use it? No idea, but you could try uh, biting it. See if there's chocolate inside. I guess. A goodie, more reading. November 29, 1967. I can't get out. I have tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the last large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde, blah, 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 and those dark, wet, and eerie caves. What can I do? I don't know how to pronounce that. At first I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor. It was like reflex. One name came to mind. Jessica! I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No! I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. Well, here's hoping. November 30, 1967. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. November 31, 1967. It was a dark and damp underground tunnel. And another dead end. But even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match I had to see what it was. A grave! But deeply engraved into the stone was my name, George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here, and I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. George Trevor. 
Yeah, that umbrella. They're an evil bunch. A name is carved into the small gravestone. George Trevor. There's a switch. Press it. Now, this section down here can suck balls a little bit with the spiders. Uh, if we're lucky and quick, we may be able to get around them without having to kill any or without getting hit. Let's try. Alright, let's just ignore that one. He doesn't do anything, but there's some here that can get in the way. Uh, there's a map of the mansion, basement 1. Take it? Yes. B1, basement 1. You got the map of the mansion B1. Let's try and do this quickly. Inside the cardboard box lies the discarded shell of a molting spider. Ew. So there's ammo here as well. Yep, will you take the shotgun shells? Certainly. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just... Ah! Oh, thank God. See, they're pretty... I don't know. They're, uh, they're, they're pretty harmless. Like, they're pretty docile or just stupid. <laughs> they're pretty dumb, one of those. Ah, uh, there's... Yeah, okay. So we're past the spiders, and now we just have a couple of little zombies. We can deal with these zombies. Okay, come here. You bastards. So see if we can decapitate this one. Alright, we got that one. I doubt we can get a twofer. One, two, three! Okay. It doesn't matter really if you kill them permanently or not. It's like not like we're ever coming back here, so don't worry about it too much. Don't burn them or anything. Will you take the dagger? Yes. We're also going to run through this water. And we're going to turn the elevator on. Looks like the power supply for the elevator. The main fuse has blown out. Switch over? Yes. Power supply appears to be functioning again. Awesome! Let's go to the elevator and we'll take that back up. Although before we can head to the elevator, uh, we actually need to go through the kitchen. Now it's good not to come down here. Um, you unlocked it? At the beginning of the game, it's better to... I mean, we have to go through it now, but if you come here in the beginning, you have to deal with, like, extra zombies, so... At the moment, we only have to deal with one. Uh, will you take the dagger? Yes. And that's the one little zombie that we have to deal with. And what we're gonna do, I don't want to deal with him, there's no point shooting him. Um, so we're just gonna give him the old little run around. You just have to kind of lead him, bait him to this side of the table, and then we'll run around. The dishes are crawling with maggots. Lovely. And we're just going to go down here. And I don't trust that guy, so I want to be quick. Use the elevator. Yes. Hurry, 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 hurry. There we go. Easy. Now, in this next area that we're going up to, we have to be a wee bit careful. Uh, there is a zombie that may be... Like, there's two... I think there's two zombies in this area, and one of them's kind of behind us and hard to see, but... We're, we're about to face the snake soon, so that's pretty interesting. So, turn around here, and is he close? Oh, he's not close. Look at that. You don't have to kill him, just knock his ass down. And we're going to get some goodies in here for when we face the snake, which is coming up. Which means we need to backtrack a little bit through that area with the crimson head and everything. So that's going to be cool. Alright, will you take the acid shells? Yes, we definitely need acid shells since that's what we're facing the snake with. And shotgun shells, which always come in handy. It's like our main go-to. And we need to take this as well, the, the battery. Let's head out, and we're going back to that corridor. Remember the one where you get the arrowhead from? Like, way back at the beginning. Well, we're going back there, so we just need to go around here and unlock this door. And it will take us there. So there's two zombies in here, and the crimson head that we haven't dealt with. Uh, and as I said, the crimson heads aren't really that bad. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's go around here, and... Ah, ish! Okay, let's see if we can get our dagger back. Ready? <laughs> I love it when that happens. I'm not sure how... Um, I'm not sure if it's true or not, but to me it seems like... And we'll shoot this guy in the legs, maybe. Boom! They go down instantly when you do that. And we have the crimson head here, so... Ready? One. Two! And they go down. Should I kill this other one? Oh, frick it. Don't freaking bother. 
Alright, let's go back to where the statues are, where that statue trap thing was, the puzzle. But it seems like when you stab a zombie in the head, and then you aim for a headshot, that it has a higher chance of making their head explode. I'm not sure if it's, um, true or not, but anyway, we'll, we'll switch that over with the acid rounds. Now we're definitely ready. Yeah, it just seems that way to me, but I'm not sure if it's true. It just seems like whenever I've played this game in the past and I stab a zombie in the head and then shoot it in the head, its head explodes most of the time. But who knows? Anyway, use the mention key and let's go fight that big old snake. Which will hopefully not cause me too many problems. <laughs> I think it only takes like... Oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, Christ, you hear it coming. I think it only takes like four or five shots to put away. It's not that bad, but here we go. Okay, quick. One, two. Oh, Christ. Run, 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 run. Go down the ladder. And it should only take a couple more hits to put away. So hopefully we don't get struck by this thing. One. Two. Three. Oh, look at that. So five shots. That's all it takes. Five shots to put the thing away with the acid rounds. That's pretty easy. Not much of a boss, really. The big bad snake ain't that big or bad. And it's knocked down a book for us to go and collect. So let's go grab that. Where is it? Where's the sparkle? There it is! Okay, and we got the... Will you take the last book, volume 2? Yes! So if we examine this one as well, we'll get the second medal, which we need. Last book, volume 2. What can the words on the cover mean? We said that about the last one. I don't know if we ever find out, do we? A medal was hidden inside the book. Medal of Wolf. Found inside the last book, volume 2. Is there a special way to use it? Oh yeah, it's got to do with a fountain, doesn't it? That's right. I think there's like designs on the fountain, north and south or something. Whatever, who cares. Alright, let's go up. I think now feels like an excellent time to go back and save. We may go back to uh, that room with the... The save room with the serum, that's the one. We're going to go back there and save. Um... And we haven't really got that much left to do in the mansion. We're actually nearly finished. And then we say, like, bye-bye forever to the house. Uh, because next, in the next episode, we're going to be heading to the underground caves. Which is a pretty cool... Like, the underground caves, they're like a mine or something. That's a pretty cool area. I don't really mind that. And that doesn't last too long either. Okay, let's just re-equip our shotgun. We don't really need the uh, the grenade launcher for the rest of the game really until the end in the lab so we're gonna save it save it all for the final boss the tyrant okay let's see if we can oh quick 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 ah uh, we just made it before mr zombie could grab us that's awesome and this leads us back to the staircase so we can go down and save I'm surprised with how well I'm actually doing with this playthrough. Um, doing much better than I thought than the other times I've played, that's for damn sure. But who knows, I've probably just jinxed it and I'm probably going to suck in the next area. But, whatever. Uh, let's dump some stuff off that we definitely don't need. Uh, we don't need the, uh, the medallion things for now, so we can get rid of those. We don't need those until we go down to the lab. Get rid of the battery as well. And, uh, that's about... Well, we need the ink ribbons, but that's about it. We'll be keeping the rest of the stuff. So, let's save, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, so it's been a moment. Let's just get rid of these ink ribbons, which we don't need for the time being until we save again. There's a spot. Okay. Okay. And we just want to keep everything else. And now all we really have to do for the rest of this episode, really, is just complete a couple of puzzles. And then we say bye-bye, Mansion! We say bye-bye pretty much for the uh, for the rest of the game, which is pretty cool. You use the Mansion key. Right, let's go through here. We haven't been through here before. A new area. And in this new area is where we'll be doing this. It's a strange kind of puzzle. Uh, first thing we want to do is read this. So, mail to the chief of security. 
Confidential, Chief of Security, July 2008. Next day is drawing upon us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. 1. Lure stars to the estate and obtain BOW's raw combat data against stars. 2. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimens as examples, excluding the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. Oh, poor tyrant. 3. Ensure complete disposal of the Arclay Laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to the headquarters for further instructions. If for some reason you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck. Umbrella Headquarters, Umbrella Inc. So I don't know about you guys, but something tells me we're being set up. <laughs> Alright, let's grab the dagger from here. How many of these things do we have now? We have a we have a fair few. Uh, we'll grab this thing as well, which is the grenade shells. Always welcome. Grenade shells are always welcome in my inventory. And now we want to hit the lights. And by doing so, you can see their eyes light up. Now what we have to do, the best thing to do is, yeah, we need to push these against the wall. I prefer to do both at once. So we have to go around here, do it again. It's a bit hard to kind of maneuver around this room. And you want to quickly grab each gem before the eagle looks at you. So stand over here. And then we run as quick as we can up here. Click on this. Yay, we got it. A jewel sits in the eye. Would you like to take it out? Yes. We've got the red gemstone. Now we want to do that for both, so we have to do it for the other one as well. So quickly run, 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 run. Oh, I don't know if I'll get this one. Ah, ah just the jewel sits in the eye. Take it out, yes. Just got that one. We got the yellow gemstone. And there we are. That's all there is to this little puzzle thing. So we can get the hell out of here. And just like other situations in this game, a quick shotgun blast would have solved this problem. Just like when she could have shot the jammed door. She could have just shot the eagle there and then just taken her time with the puzzle. But anyway. Ah, oh, this part sucks. We have the freaking hunters jumping out the windows. Let's do this. Run, 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 run. Don't stop. Run, run, run. They're usually pretty easy to avoid, but it still kind of sucks. And it's so scary. Not really, but yeah. It can be pretty intense. Hello. Boom. Oh, you lost your head. Uh, the other zombie down here, I doubt that'll happen, but you know what? We might put him away, too. Alright, he'll come back as a crimson head, but we'll probably be out of here by the time that happens. So we won't have to deal with it. But anyway, what we need right now is we need the other gem. You know the one that's in the statue that I said don't bother pushing? That's above the, the, uh, the dining room? Well, we can get that now because it's already been pushed over. And as I mentioned back then in that episode, I think it was the first video, uh, I th believe it's probably like a hunter that's supposed to push it off. See? It's already on the ground. So grab the gem and we have all of it. That's the blue gemstone. So we have blue, red, and yellow. And then we go back to that hall, back to that little room uh, where the zombies were. And we're going to insert the gems into the eyes of the tiger. Yes, the eye of the tiger. Here we go. So back in this hallway we go, and it's still too early for that zombie to be a crimson. As you can see, he's still just laying there dead, so that's all good. And we have to go into this sneaky little room here, and this is where the tiger, uh, the tiger head statue is going to be, where we need to put the gems. And we're going to be inserting uh, the yellow and the blue. There's an inscription here. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. So there you go. So let's insert the um, the yellow first, and this is going to give us the disc. Uh, one of the discs that we need to save Chris in the prison, in the prison room. Which we will be doing. So let's take that. Will you take the MO disc? Yes! The tiger goes back to its original position, so you have to sit here and wait for it. And now we'll put in the blue... The blue gem. What? It's not necessary to use that. What? 
Ah, so I'm sorry, we have to be in the exact correct position, my bad. You can't just use it on it. Um, and now we get shotgun ammo! Which is awesome! Even though we have plenty, it's always great to have more. Well, we don't have plenty, but we have enough for the time being. So I haven't really been shooting a whole lot. And that's why I've been saving, like, so much of my grenade ammo. Like, I'm trying to not use as much as possible. Like with the hunters, I was just using the shotgun to take care of them. Because that means when we get to the lab soon and we have all this grenade ammo, we're just going to be able to just go crazy and just blow up every single zombie so we never have to deal with them or worry about them. We're going to be overpowered. There you go. We're going to be OPAF. Overpowered as... Of a dining room. Okay, so we're leaving the dining room and we're going back to the main hall of the mansion. And in the main hall, we're going to unlock the door that's... Um, how to describe it? It's a small door that's next to the one that leads to where we got the map on the statue. So we go over here and we go up. Here we go. You use the mansion key. There's no further use for this key. Discard, yes. So there we go. Adds more space to inventory. That's all that's good. And this is an interesting room. I mean, look, it's got all these body parts and jars and stuff. Uh, first, we're going to read this. There's something handwritten. It's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while, because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting. Not even Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. Okay, so that's a little hint about some treasure. There's some kind of internal organ inside. You can't tell whether it came from a human or an animal. I'm going to guess human. This place seems to have like a lot of uh, dead humans and stuff in it. An elaborately fashioned globe. Very nice. Anything else over here? I kind of forget. Uh, what's this? Could this be a telescope? I don't know, Jill. It looks to be pretty old. Do you know what a telescope looks like? Does it look like one? There's your answer! In here we get an ink ribbon. Yes. Well, we actually get three, technically. It's not just one. So that gives us three more saves, which we're probably going to be saving just a handful more times, I think. I don't know. But in here there's going to be a zombie. And it doesn't matter if we really kill him or not. We just need to... Hey, we did decapitate him. Awesome. No, that really matters. We're only coming here the once, so... It wouldn't have been a big deal if he just went down. Will you take the dagger? Yes. Which doesn't really matter with a lot of zombies now, since we're pretty much leaving this area after this. Will you take the jewelry box? Yes. And that, my friends, is what the red gem is for. But first, we're going to examine it. There's a round recession, approximately 4 centimeters in diameter. And we need to um, use the gem now, and then we have to solve a little, uh, like a little puzzle thing with, like a jigsaw puzzle. I have to try and remember how this goes. Um, I think this one goes here. Um, Christ, I hate these things. This one I think goes on the opposite side. See if we can move it in a little bit, make it a little bit more tidy. Uh, this one goes down the bottom to become the second half of that. This one... Christ. It's hard selecting them. So this one goes... No. Ah! Uh, is this one supposed to go up top? Or does it just... Ah, oh, hang on. No, it won't fit in. God damn, some bitch. Ain't that some bitch? Um, can it fit now? Yeah, it can. So maybe I'll put this piece in after. Hey, there we go. This one. Oh Jesus. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> oh, I hate these things so much. I'm not that smart at these. 
I'm sure I have this right. I just... Oh, yeah, oh. 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 <laughs> no. Hey, there we go. No, get in. There we go. Okay, and the final one up top. I said final one up top. Hey! There was a brooch inside. Brooch. It changed into a key. So we got the emblem key. The key's designed with an emblem of the Spencer family, whose history is as old as Raccoon City. Interesting. Not really, but sure. I'm going to pretend to be interested. Alright, so let's get the hell out of here. And we have quite a bit of backtracking to do now. <laughs> ah. So first we have to go through this uh, internal organ room. If I can get around the damn corner. There we go. And we go back to the main hall. And when we get back to the main hall, we're going outside. So let's head to the... Uh, the door that's at the top of the stairs. And then we're going to cut through the, um... What room is it? Is it painting? They're paintings, aren't they? Ones that you click on and it changes colour. Well, they're kind of more like, um, coloured glass. Like colour stained glass or something. I don't know. I think I'm thinking too much about this, to be honest. So let's go through the gate. We'll go back through that room. And we're going to unlock a new door that we haven't been to yet. And here we go. Go around, and as always, just ignore crows. Like, you should never really, ever, ever have to, um, shoot crows. You should never have to battle them. Just ignore them. Throughout the entire game, there's no excuse to fight the damn crows, okay? So leave them be. They're just a hassle if you try and do anything. Alright, and we're gonna unlock this little door here. You use the emblem key. There's no further use for this key. Let's discard it. Yes! And go through. And this room is pretty important, and we definitely need to come here because it has the uh, the other metal object that we need. And, uh, Christ, look at this. This room is... It does have a pretty creepy vibe to it, doesn't it? Um, okay, let's turn this light on. There's a switch here. Press it. We need to do that before we can do anything else because it's dark. And it lights up stuff. Look at that. Things become shiny. Will you take the metal object? Yes! At least we don't need the lighter here to light the place. Uh, anything else? Yeah, we have a battery pack. We'll take that. There's also some books and stuff we can examine. Uh, a collection of scientific books. Almost all of them are biology related. Yeah, look at the window being open. That's kind of creepy. A collection of thick tomes. There are books on everything from genetics to statecraft. What the hell is statecraft? Never heard of that before. But with that window being open and the way it looks creepy and everything, you almost kind of expect something to jump through at you, like a hunter or a dog. So that could have been a missed opportunity for a great jump scare. You know, something jumping through the window, but who knows? Jump scares tend to bring down um, the quality of horror games, in my opinion, if they're overused. Sometimes the psychology of whether something's dangerous or not, or whether something happens or not, is what makes it more scary. Keeps you on your toes. Anyway, I feel like, um, oh, we already have ink ribbons, don't we? So I, I'm just going to save it now. We're going to end the episode there. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, keep rioting.